evening. It is now time to call this meeting to order. It's a little bit after six o'clock and um, I'd like to ask that um, we come to order. Um, and again, this evening we are meeting pursuant to the governor's executive order number 60 in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. The uh, open public meetings of the Allgood City Council are being held via electronic means with limited public access. And as we begin our meeting, I would like to um, begin as we usually do with our invocation and our pledge to allegiance. I would ask, um, there's Mr. Bond, if he would mind in leading us in a word of prayer before we start and then, um, if Mr. Neighbors would lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. If we could all stand, please. Ms. Platt, would you call the roll for us, please? Honorable Mayor Fowler. Here. Honorable Vice Mayor Norris. Present. Honorable Councilman Bilbrey. Present. Honorable Councilwoman Hawkins. Present. Honorable Councilman Hill. Here. Now I'd like to ask us to look at the agenda as it's presented. I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda as presented. I'll make a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Ms. Flatt? Mayor Fowler? Yes. Vice Mayor Norris? Yes. Honorable Bilbury? Yes. Honorable Hawkins? Yes. Honorable Hill. Yes. Now I call your attention to the minutes of the council meeting held on August the 11th. We have had some time to review those, but I'll ask if you would quickly read over them again and if there are any improvements or changes that need to be made, uh, please let me know. Hearing no uh, suggestions for corrections or changes, I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the last council meeting held on August the 11th. I'll make the motion. Second. Ms. Blatt. Mayor Fowler. 
Yes. Vice Mayor Norris. Yes. Honorable Bilbury. Yes. Honorable Hawkins. Yes. Honorable Hill. Yes. The next item on our agenda is to consider approval to suspend the reading of Ordinance 64720. Um, we are going to be discussing that in more detail here, the next item, so we can uh, dispense or suspend the reading of 64720 at this time, if I have a motion to do that. I'll make the motion. Second. Ms. Flatt? Mayor Fowler? Yes. Vice Mayor Norris? Yes. Honorable Bilbrey? Yes. Honorable Hawkins? Yes. Honorable Hill? Yes. Item number four is Ordinance 64720. However, um, this would be the ordinance that uh, would amend the budget to add a uh, one-time hazard pay um, for of $500 each for frontline city employees that have worked through the COVID-19 pandemic. But I think since we have, and we have changed the wording from bonus to hazard pay, that we need a motion to approve um, the amendment. Uh, if, if, well, we first, we need somebody to motion that we <laughs> make a motion that we amend it to I say hazard. I make a motion. Okay. Second. Okay. And Ms. Flatt? Mayor Fowler? Yes. Vice Mayor Norris? Yes. Honorable Bilbrey? Yes. Honorable Hawkins? Yes. Honorable Hill? Yes. Now that we have uh, the motion to um, change the wording from bonus to hazard. Um, we now uh, can proceed with, um, I think we can have a public comment section now for um, on that ordinance number 64720 as amended to read hazard pay. And this is the second and final reading of this ordinance. Uh, and before that could happen or become law, we have to have a public comment section. Um, if there's anyone who would now like to speak uh, about that, uh, the floor is open and I see a gentleman approaching here. Thank you, sir. Do we have any other comments, questions? All right, I will now close the public hearing section and I will open the floor back up to consider approval of Ordinance 64720 as amended to read hazard pay. service providers and it doesn't include the council either uh, there was a little bit of that is correct the it's the 46 full-time part-time employees uh, receive a regular bi-weekly paycheck from the city Perfect. Just and the volunteer fire department just one clarification thank you okay 
I'll entertain a motion now to um, approve the um, ordinance 64720 with the amendment uh, from bonus to hazard pay. Is there a motion? I make the motion to approve as amended. Second. Okay, Ms. Flatt, would you call the roll? Mayor Fowler? Yes. Vice Mayor Norris? Yes. Honorable Bill Bree? Yes. Honorable Hawkins? Uh, my son in law works here, but I will not benefit with it in any way, so my answer is yes. Honorable Hill? Yes. Next item is to consider approval to accept the certified election results for August of 2020. Do I have a motion? Um, I guess it'd be appropriate that uh, I'll make a motion. one of us. <laughs> Thank you, Miss <laughs> Vice Mayor. Uh, I'll second. <laughs> I have those here in my corner. <laughs> I don't think we have any questions. Uh, all right, Ms. Flatt, would you call the roll? Mayor Fowler? Yes. Vice Mayor Norris? Yes. Honorable Bilbrey? Yes. Honorable Hawkins? Yes. Honorable Hill? Yes. And now we would like to take a recess because we have um, two city councilmen that need to be sworn in as members of the council and we are excited about that and uh, we are going to take a recess for them to come forward and be sworn in um, and I, I guess each gent well we want to thank councilwoman norris but um we'll um we have a little presentation for you just in a little bit, so don't get too far from us, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, is there an order of who wants to go first? Mr. Neighbors and Judge Bray, if you would please step forward. Uh, Mr. Graves. By the way, while they're coming to get to in, in place, uh, I didn't get a chance to give Bill a fist bump there a while ago, so, so thank you, brother. Carolyn, uh, thank you for your service to this great city. Uh, and I know they're gonna, I don't, I'm not stealing any thunder, it's just from Wayne, but I just wanna thank you every year uh, for all that you've ever done. All right, yay. Okay, Ron, we're here, are you ready to? I am ready. All right, if you will put your uh, right hand on your Bible and put it on the spot and raise your left hand. You ready? Because if you want them to be ready to go. I, Ronald Graves, of Putnam County, Tennessee, do solemnly swear that I will perform with fidelity the duties of city councilman for the city of Allgood, Tennessee, for the city of Allgood, Tennessee in, Putnam County, in Putnam County, to which I have been elected, which I've been elected and which duties, and which duties, and which duties I, am about to assume, I am about to assume, and in all respects, in all respects observe the provisions of the charter and ordinances of the city of Allgood 
that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the State of Tennessee to the best of my skill and ability. So help me God. Congratulations. Tennessee, do solemnly swear that I will perform with fidelity the duties of city councilman for the city of Alger, Tennessee, and Putnam County, to which I have been elected, and which duties I am about to assume, and in all respects, observe the provisions of the charter and ordinances of the city of Alger, and that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the State of Tennessee to the best of my skill and ability. So help me God. First, let me say congratulations to these two fine gentlemen that have now taken their seats here at the council table. Uh, we would uh, like to reconvene our meeting at this time, and we will now have another roll call by Ms. Flack. Honorable Mayor Fowler. Here. Honorable Councilman Graves. Here. Honorable Councilman Bilbrey. Present. Honorable Councilwoman Hawkins. Here. Honorable Councilman Hill. Present. As we continue with our meeting, we have under new business, um, consider approval to suspend the reading of Ordinance 64820, which we will consider in depth uh, in item eight. 
and resolution 332-20, which we will also consider um, right after we do 648-20, and that would be when I was saying that we wanted to honor Miss Norris for her service. So um, I will now uh, accept a motion to consider approval to suspend the reading of Ordinance 648-20 and Resolution 332-20. I'll second. Ms. Flatt? Mayor Fowler? Yes. Honorable Graves? Yes. Honorable Bilbury? Yes. Honorable Hawkins? Yes. Honorable Hill? Yes. The next item on our agenda is to consider uh, approval to elect a new vice mayor to run con concurrent with their term in office. Um, Ms. Norris has been serving as our vice mayor and uh, it is now time for the council to uh, approve another vice mayor um, and I would make a motion that we ask Councilman Bill Bilbury if he would serve as vice mayor. Do I have a second? Second. Ms. Flapp? Mayor Fowler? Yes. Yes. Honorable Bilbury? Abstain. <laughs> Honorable Hawkins? Yes. Honorable Hill? Yes. Okay. Now, item number eight is to consider approval on first reading of Ordinance 648 20 to amend our. 2021 budget for revenue and expenses related to the Green Mountain and the Buck Mountain water projects. And I will let Mr. Morrison, if he will, explain that in a little more detail for us. We have two projects that are pending. They are the Buck Mountain um, water pump upgrade and then the Green Mountain water line extension. For the Buck Mountain water pump upgrade, we have received from uh, the governor a uh, local government support grant in the amount of $127,521 that will offset that cost of about $160,000. For the Green Mountain Water Project, we have will receive $150,000 from the county to offset the $270,000 project cost that we were looking at that. We will also decrease fund balance by $157,479 to complete these two projects. Some of that will be offset by 15 tap fees paid by residents in that area, as well as an additional fee to have water service uh, to that area. And the total expense is estimated at $435,000 for the two projects combined. And we anticipate that we'll get a better bid price on those by combining the two projects and making them a little more substantial for a contractor. Uh, so we feel like this will actually won't be that expensive and we'll get a better deal than what we're expecting is our hope. Any questions by the council? Now, what's your timeline on these both these projects? They are about 75% complete with technical plans. So once we get the technical plans complete, we'll be ready to go to bid. Uh, It'll have to go out to bid for about 30 days and then come to council for approval. So we're hoping to start this within three to four months. But uh, in length of time that this project's gonna take for? Probably 10 months. So a year and a half. Right. Is there any other projects we can tie in with this? The water sewer expansion project that's nearing ready to go should, could be bid pretty close to the same time. So we anticipate all of that tied together will make all of the projects come in at a lower expense. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the water and sewer, we have already planned pretty much for that because that's been an ongoing Correct. project. That, that is pre-budgeted. It's already in the budget. So that one's just a matter of getting everything finalized, all the technical plans approved from USDA, and then going to bid. So we're anticipating the bid on it. It's going to be pretty much in timeline with this one. So they're going to be really close together. Okay. 
Thank you. All right, do I hear a motion Make to motion. approve ordinance 648-20 to amend the uh, fiscal year 2021 budget for the Green Mountain and Buck Mountain Water Projects. And that motion was made by Ms. Hawkins. I'll second. Mr. Hill. And now Ms. Platt. Mayor Fowler. Yes. Honorable Graves. Yes. Honorable Bilbrey. Yes. Honorable Hawkins. Yes. Honorable Hill. Yes. Item nine is resolution 332-20. And this is why I didn't want Ms. Norris to run away a while ago. This is a resolution by the uh, City of All Good honoring uh, former councilwoman. She's just been former for a few minutes now. Carolyn Norris for distinguished service as councilwoman for the city of all good from 2012 to 2020. So she has certainly served with distinction and we would like to thank her and um, let her know that we appreciate all that she's done in her tenure as on the council and um, not only do we have this resolution, but we have a plaque that we'd like to present to you at the end of tonight's meeting, Council uh, Mrs. Norris. Uh, so I would consider approval now of resolution 332-20 honoring Councilwoman Norris for her service from 2012 to 2020. I make the motion. Do I have a second? I second. Okay, Ms. Flatt. Mayor Fowler. Yes. Honorable Graves. Yes. Honorable Bilbrey. Yes. Honorable Hawkins. Yes. Honorable Hill. Yes. And now we are ready for the city administrator's report. Uh, Honorable Mayor, we have one more item of business we need to attend to. And uh, uh, Councilwoman Norris was on the planning commission as the council appointee. Uh, Councilwoman Hawkins sits in that on that commission right now. So we just need a vote from the council if they wish to allow her to be the council's choice for the planning commission. Okay. Do we need that in the form of a motion? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and make a motion that we allow Ms. Hawkins to continue in that role as the council representative. Do I have a motion? Uh, sorry. Uh, I'll make that motion. Do we have a second? designee over to the city council designee and then does that do we have any, any idea as to the, the, the vacancy that would be filled there the mayor would fill the vacancy oh, the mayor would fill the vacancy. because actually miss norris is the vacancy okay uh as the council's appointee if the council wishes for miss hawkins to fill the council's appointee then miss norris's position will remain vacant and the mayor would fill that I'm sorry, I don't attend that because I've got a conflict that evening. Just make sure I understand. Ms. Hawkins, uh, Mr. Buck Fowler, Marshall Judd, Roger Williams. Forgive me if I leave one off. I'm trying to trying to think. I'm sorry. Trying to Milburn Rogers. Down. The mayor just appointed Tiffany. And I may mispronounce her last name. I think it's Anton. And I believe that may be it. I'm not leaving one off. If I did, I apologize. There should be seven. So that would leave the one. I'll second the motion. Thank you. 
Ms. Plant. Mayor Fowler. Yes. Honorable Graves. Yes. Honorable Bilbrey. Yes. Honorable Hopkins. I abstain. Honorable Hill. Yes. All right. Now then, Mr. Morrison. Thank you. The farmer's market uh, beans and posts were delivered last Friday, so those are on site and ready to go. We're anticipating the delivery of the trusses this week. Um, sheeting for the roofing has already been delivered. Uh, if you've noticed, there's been quite a bit of traffic over there. We've had quite a few vendors swapping in and out, so it's going very well. The Cinderella Park, uh, Director Jones and his crew have been working over there to clean up, level up, and uh, get ready for that new park equipment that has come in. They have started assembly on that. We were waiting the ground to settle just a little bit. We also have an area over there we're going to stabilize a little bit more. So once we get that done, get it seated and ready, it's uh, going to have the playground equipment put down. And the county parks department is going to help us with some of the material to go around the equipment. So they already have ground cover to go around the equipment once that's done. And uh, the traffic study is well underway. Uh, the traffic counters were removed this morning, so they were out for a week. And we're expecting the engineering firm to be here sometime tomorrow to talk to us about that and uh, get them the data that they're needing and continue to move forward with that. The Blue Cross Blue Shield grant for the park has been submitted. And the RFQ is out for a designer for phase one for the master park plan. So that is out as well. Um, we are 75% uh, technically complete with the drawings for the Green Mountain and Buck Mountain Water Project. And uh, we're waiting for final approval from USDA on the water and sewer projects, and then we should be ready to go to bid on it. Uh, Department heads, do you have anything? Public entity partners, the safety grants, we did receive that. short and sweet we always like to hear when we have money coming in um, now is the portion of uh, the meeting where we always ask for hearings from any citizen or delegation anyone that has anything that they would like to address the council about we invite you to come up to the podium and tell us your name and what your concern or question is Okay, I'm going to take that as a no news is good news. And again, my congratulations to these gentlemen seated on either side and to Ms. Norris. And we would um, like to announce that our next meeting will be October 13th. And um, at this time, I'd make a motion that we adjourn. I'll second. Any opposed? All right. <laughs>